Hi, I'm Carl. I'm part of the team at Trail Tours. Today we're going to be going over the basics of dirt bike riding and welcome to Trail Tours. All right, so now we're going to be covering turning. So I'm sure we've all seen street riders. When they turn, they lean with the bike. We can't get away with that in the dirt. We just don't have the traction for it. And if we're to lean with the bike, all that weight and pressure would slide those tires out from underneath of us. So the way that we turn is a little bit different. So if I'm making a right hand turn, what I'm going to do, I'm going to push the bike down to the corner, but I'm going to keep my body straight up and down. That's going to drive all my weight straight down to these tires and give me the most traction possible. It's the same thing if I'm turning left, I'm going to push the bike down to the corner so that you can see this inside arm here is straightening out while this outside arm here is staying up and away. Try not to tuck it into your side, that way you're not jamming yourself up. Now for some reason, people like to swing their knees out during this exercise. Just make sure you keep those knees in nice and tight keep you and the bike together. I'll have the bike take that corner much more smoothly. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do in this track right here, we have some cones set up. We're just gonna practice weaving in and out of these cones, practicing that leaning technique. The point of this exercise is smoothness, not speed. I really wanna see you guys doing this, this is quite important. Alrighty, so now we're gonna be covering standing. So standing is actually a preferred riding position. It's safer, more comfortable, and we're more stable. So we're gonna be standing up anytime that we go over rocks, uh, sand, any kind of like moguls, kind of like whoops, uh, uphills, downhills. So we end up standing probably about 80% of the time. So what I want you guys to do is just drop your kickstands and just try sitting with both your feet up on your pegs. Once you've done that, what I want you guys to do is just stand up nice and tall. Don't even worry about your handlebars, just stand up. So now that we're standing, we're just gonna go over the riding position. So we're starting with our feet and work our way up. So with my feet, if you're riding on the balls of my feet, I don't wanna be on my arches, then I'm flat footed. If I'm on my toes, a little bit too far back, it's pretty easy for my feet to slip off. Just make sure you're riding on the balls of your feet. I'm gonna keep that lower leg straight up and down. Try not to have it drop forward or back. Just have that uh, lower leg straight up and down. Your knee should have a slight bend in it. If you're crouching down, you're in a squatting position, the legs are gonna probably burn out in probably a minute. Keep your legs up nice and straight. We also don't wanna have them locked. With a locked knee, you have no suspension in your legs. You're gonna hit a bump over the handlebars you go. Just a slight bend in your knee. You're gonna be holding onto the bike with your ankles, your calves, and your knees. Keep those in tight to the bike. That's your seatbelt now. That lower leg really shouldn't move from that position. Everything else revolves around it. Now, most of us, when we're standing in this position, really can't reach the handlebars. We're a little bit too tall. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bend at the waist rather than at the knees. So we're just gonna stick our butts out just a little bit, bend over and grab those handlebars. Now, you shouldn't have any weight through your hands. If you do, uh, you're going to hit a bump or you're just going to get all squirrely. Just make sure that you all your weight's down through your feet. You should be able to take your hands off your handlebars and stand in this position. Make sure you keep your elbows up and out and keep your head up. It's the most important thing. You're even taller now. You can see even further down the trail. So just make sure you keep your head up. Now when you guys do sit back down, make sure you're dropping your knees forward. That way you're staying back up on the front of that bike. That way you're in position again. 